I'm Dee, and this is Dee's 20 Stitches. It's a floss tube and my little space on the internet where I'm going to talk at you. Um, congratulations for clicking on that, and thank you very much for spending some time with me. Um, I'm Dee. I use the pronouns they, them. I'm a queer and trans non-binary person who just happens to like to cross stitch and that's what we're gonna talk about today. <laughs> Weird, huh? Weird that we're doing that. Um, I used to be a performer, uh, specifically drag and burlesque. I used to be a host and MC on the stages around my big city. And unfortunately, oh, you know, about a year and a half ago, that all stopped. Um, also, I started having some bigger chronic health issues that really kept me from going out and, you know, staying out till two o'clock in the morning and doing a lot of physical activity. So I decided that I would get back into cross stitching and that's what I've been doing for the past quarantine and on and off since I was 16, 14. Time is irrelevant. And now I've really fallen into it and found a community, which is really <laughs> nice. Wow, you guys are so nice. Uh, and I kind of wanted to connect a little bit more. So I thought, okay, well, people go on YouTube and talk about cross stitching and, and connect that way. So I'd like to do that. So that's why I'm here. Wow, that was a journey, huh? So today I've got some finishes, things I've finished recently. I've got some whips, works in progress. I've got some plans and I've got, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna talk to you like we're friends. Can we just be friends? That would be really nice. <laughs> I'd love to uh, connect a little bit more with this community that has actually given me a lot. Um, but I'll talk about that. Um, let's get started. I'm going to show you my first little finish that I had recently, and it's very cute. I'm very proud of it, even though it's a little wonky. It's a little turtle. <laughs> this is uh, a Satsuma Street. It's a uh, warm garden party. There she is. And this is a little tummy. And it's a turtle. I turn it into a little turtle. It's cute. No eyes, no, just, no, no, nothing. Just a turtle. Uh, and I am doing this for a friend who just recently had a baby. So this is going to be a baby, a baby thing. And I figured babies like to hold things. Babies like to chew on things and this is going to be a cute little little stuffy for a little baby. Um, <clears throat> let me tell you a little bit about what's going on here. So I used all the call for DMC colors um, except for over here. I, I changed out this yellow. This is I think 19 which is a weird DMC number. 19. What? Is there a one? Is there a one DMC? Like a seven? I don't know. Um, I changed this because this is a, a hand dyed Ada um, that I dyed randomly. And it was kind of a bright mottled orange and this color wasn't coming out very well. So I decided to change it and then it worked out cute. Um, the turtle legs, are they, are they different? Oh yeah, this is, she's a, she's a lefty, not a righty. Um, is the little, is the sewing a little bit wonky? Yeah. But you know what? Life isn't perfect. Um, Pope Buddy's nerfect and this turtle is adorable. And I can't wait for this baby to just nom on it uh, incessantly and probably destroy it. Because you know what? Art needs to be loved. 
And if art is loved so much that it falls to pieces, that's fine. That's art, baby. So that's my first, that's my little finish. Isn't she cute? I love her. You will not be seeing a lot of finishes from me because I've got some big projects. That was like something little. I just started it. Um, boy, I started it June 1st. I, I, because baby was supposed to be here, you know, early July and, and, and she came early. So I crossed those X's like nobody's business. Um, whew. Okay, let's show you what else I've been working on my whips. Mm. Let me zippy zippy. Yeah, this is I want I I've picked whips. Um, I have three of them, and all of them kind of have a cool little story, and that's kind of neat for my first floss tube to kind of tell you, you know, my stitching journey. What? Okay, she's big. Whoa, she big. Wow. This is um, Map of Westeros by Randomly Generated. Uh, you might have seen this. This one was on like Reddit a lot and you know, all the nerdy places. Um, let me just show you. And I, this is my oldest whip. And by oldest whip, I mean, I was working on this um, during the second season of Game of Thrones. So would that be 2011? Wow. 2012? Yeah. And the story behind this is I... Secret. I'm not a fan of Game of Thrones. But a lot of people in my life are. And I I just want to be included. <laughs> so I picked this giant grass stitch pattern in 2011. Like, oh yeah, I'm totally into it. Yeah. The Tullys? Oh yeah, I know who they are. Um, uh, The little girl with the sh sharp knife. Yeah, I know. I know who she is. But here's the thing about Game of Thrones. There's there's so many characters. And they all have names that are very similar. I, I I'm not smart enough. <laughs> I'm not smart enough to to figure out what's happening. But so what happened was um, uh, my partner and our friends would watch the seasons and like, as we would watch, I would not pay attention or I would pretend to pay attention and then stitch this. And I stitched this on and off, um, you know, throughout the years and now it's almost done and I do want to finish it. There was a stitch along, whoa, I don't know who started it. Is it Robert? Hmm. I'll have to look. I'll link it below. Uh, there's a stitch along of like, this is the, I want to say that it can't be the 20th anniversary. That's too long ago. Maybe 10th, 10th anniversary of uh, Game of Thrones, the TV show, maybe the books. Um, and I'm like, okay, this is a special year. I can finish this thing. I only have... Two sigil, sig, sigils, three, three sigils to go. That's it. Then I'm done. Wow. Do I know all these sigils? No. I love the bear. He's so cute. Do I know what character is this bear? No. Do I know what character is this little wolf? Uh, John Snoop. Is that him? Yes. I hope there's some nerds watching. And I love you nerds. You're my people. And I, I want to be like you, but I'm just not smart enough. Uh, <laughs> and I hope you're watching and just going, oh no. Let, oh no, sweet angel, no. I am a sweet angel. Cool castle. The squad. I know about the squid. These are the... 
I want to say gay joys, but that's not right. It should be. It should be the gay joys. Gray joys. It's the gray joys. These are the, this is the, the angry, the angry family that's a little incestuous. I don't remember their names. That's them. I know them. And this is the old lady that uh, outplayed everyone, but probably, I think she died. Spoilers. You know that lady who was old in Game of Thrones? She died. Sorry. <laughs> this is a great way to start off. Angering, angering the geeks. I love you. You're my people. I, I just, I just don't, I don't have it in me. I'm too old. I'm, I'm old. I'm, I'm an old gay and I just don't have it in me to be nerdy anymore. Um, so that's, that's, I'm, I'm going to finish that soon. Second one, second whip. Hmm. Look how little, look how little, is it going to focus? Look how little, this is on 25 count over one. This is Prairie Schooler, Where There Are Bees. And, uh, oh, look at this. That's my needleminder that I sell. <coughs> Wink. Um, this was my birthday start last year in November, because I love bees. I have a whole room that's just bees. And that's what it, that's, that's, that's what, that's where it's going to go. Change some colors. I love this. That was supposed to be black or gray. Let me show you what it looks like. Bonk. It looks bigger there. This looks, this is just so tiny. I love it tiny. So I put, I actually picked this up um, after finishing my turtle because I was in floss tube land and I found a floss tuber by the name of bees and tea stitching stitchery stitching a uh, Sebastian and he's great and just like I love when there is a person who tells me and the audience about something they love so much and Sebastian loves tea and loves just nerdy things and it just makes me happy to listen to him talk about what he loves. So that's for you, Sebastian. While I while I watch you, I, I stitch that up. So keep making floss tubes and then I'll keep stitching this. <laughs> I'll finish it. This year? Then last one. Big one. Wow. Oh, now it's in a hoop. <clears throat> Go. This has a story to it, so I will tell you my tale. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow. Too big. Uh, this is an adaptation of uh, the Vivsters Quaker... I can't fit myself in. Quaker... Quaker tile, rainbow tile, and let me just go through. The colors are changed. The pattern is changed. Um, there we go. So I, the colors when they came, uh. Vivian Power says, oh, my patterns are bright and they weren't bright enough for me. I'm, I'm a screaming queer. I need my colors to be bright. Uh, and they weren't. So I, I changed, I think I changed from, I think I changed, oh no, things are falling out of my bag. Oh, this is a disaster. I changed from the green down. Uh, and I think I changed this one too. And if you want, if you want the colors, like if you want the super bright, as a DMC, if you want the super bright rainbow, uh, you can email me down below. 
and I'll give them to you. The other thing I did is, um, and maybe I'll put the original pattern it here. Uh, Vivian Power says, oh, my patterns are bright and they weren't bright enough for me. I'm, I'm a screaming queer. I need my colors to be bright. Uh, and they weren't. So I, I changed, I think I changed from, I think I changed, oh no, things are falling out of my bag. Oh my, this is a disaster. I changed from the green down. Uh, and I think I changed this one too. And if you want, if you want the colors, like if you want the super bright, as a DMC, if you want the super bright rainbow, uh, you can email me down below and I'll give them to you. The other thing I did is, um, and maybe I'll put the original pattern it here somewhere. There it was. And you can see I changed things. So it, it, it's not a rectangle. The pattern is not a rectangle. I made it a rectangle because, oh, there it is upside down. Uh, I made it a rectangle because I, my plan, my grand scheme was I started this in January 31st, 2020. Is that? Yeah. Wow. Wow. And because my best friend in the world, um, they're having, they were having their top surgery this year. And I thought, oh, I'm going to stitch something gay and queer and beautiful and rainbow and make a little pillow, make a little back pillow for them. So when they're like relaxing and recovering, they have this cute little pillow. And um, surgeries in Canada uh, were very slow, COVID, uh, because of COVID. So I thought I had all the time in the world. I thought I had all the time in the world. Um, <laughs> they're, they're done. The surgery is done already. Of course. And I'm, oh boy, they look great. Like, it's so awesome to see. Um, and, but their present is not finished because I thought they had longer. That's how it is. So, um, what can I do about it? Well, maybe finish it for their birthday. Maybe. I don't know. They'll get it eventually. And guess what? They're still going to be gay and queer so they'll appreciate it <laughs> can I tell you something else about this this is a 18 count Ada and you'll notice it's like charcoal -y, right so this used to be an 18 count like white Ada and I needed black and so I just I took some writ powder dye and I did my best with it but god let me see if you can see this. Oh yeah, you can see that. Just this, I did a hack job of this. It <laughs> looks like I spilt, it looked like I spilt yogurt on it. Or some other unsavory substance <laughs> on this piece of beta. So what was I to do? It looked it looks gray with yogurt spots on it. So I stitched it. I started stitching it. And it just, like, here it's okay, I guess. Like, see, there's yogurt spots. Gross. And so what I'm doing is I made quadruple the work for myself. And I'm going back in the background. And over one with black, I'm just... I'm just doing the background too. That's what I'm doing. It just, but it looks good. Like it looks good. Sometimes I just, do you ever, do you ever like have a piece and you are just doing it and then you put it down and then you're like checking it out and you're like, That's what I do with this piece because it's so nice and the colors are so nice. Um, I do want to mention something. Uh, 
Kabuki. I saw something on Daybreak Stitchery. I think that's that's last two. Um, and she said that um, she was talking to Vivian Powers because Vivian Powers has a um, a pattern that is a um it's a palestinian pattern of cultural importance and um vivian made a pattern that is very similar to it and um, daybreak stitchery the floss two messaged her and say hey like maybe are you are you donating anything to, to the Palestinian cause, um, and I think the answer was, and I'll link, I'll link that one below because I think it's really important because a lot of us are stitching Vivian the Vivster on Etsy's patterns, and I believe, and I want you to watch it, watch it, what was said, but I believe Vivian said something like, it's too political to get into, and. I hate when people say it's too political, it makes me feel gross because I know there's people out there when I say I'm a trans person, they think that's political that I exist. And that's weird. Like I'm not political. I'm a, I'm a person. I'm here. You can't get rid of me. You try. Oh boy, there's people who are trying. Um, so I think it's kind of weird that, you know, a, a, any designer who creates patterns that are based in cultures that are not their own and then make money off of that, especially if it's a marginalized culture, especially if it's a culture that's facing human rights issues right now. Um, it's not political, it's just, just people. Um, so will I be stitching any, anyway, will I be stitching any more Vister patterns? No, I will not. Will I be finishing this one? Yes, I will as a, um, but I am making it as queer as possible because it is stitched in my own rainbow colors. It is stitched for a queer and trans person that I love dearly. Uh, and it is stitched in celebration of their top surgery. So I'm making it. I made it political. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> the queer agenda, the trans queer agenda is coming for you. Okay. Wow. Um, that's, hey, welcome to my first floss tube. I'm, I'm going there. It's, it's happening. That's fine. I want a community. I want to be part of the stitching community. That's okay with me as a trans person. I want a stitching community that is anti-racist. I want a stitching community that is full of non-performative allies. I want a stitching community that is full of allies that are actively fighting um, for their friends. That's what I want. That's what I want. Um, what else I got? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I have haul, but it's upstairs. So I, I gotta go get it. It's my first floss tube. Please forgive me. One sec. I'm back. Okay. It's upstairs. Because I was so excited about it. Fix my hair. Oh, look at this. First of all, if you follow me for anything, please follow me. It's my kick-ass hair. Oh, wow. I'm an anime. Okay. <laughs> Did I just pull a Gary? Isn't that what he does? I get it though. Like when you're this handsome, like, anyway, haul, I got it. It's here. Okay. <laughs> this came, this came, look, fragile. This came uh, from It's Charm School. Allison Rosen? Maybe. Uh, it's Charm School. And I ordered from her because it was her 
what was it? Oh gosh, her birthday anniversary store celebration. And she had, it was percentage off. And I'm in, I'm in Canada. And let me tell you, it's shipping from the United States to Canada for whatever reason. It's, a, it's really expensive. So I don't usually buy stuff from the States. Um, and the shipping is awful. But with the discount, with the birthday slash anniversary slash whatever discount, it was affordable. So it, first of all, sh she puts all her stuff in these little... Wow. What am I going to put in these? Secrets. So cute. This, this. Where, where'd you get these? God. I just put all that stuff in there. And I got like, I don't know if this was like a birthday celebration. And when I, when I do packages, I do like doing this too. Stickers. Look at, she loaded me up. Oh, gee. God. They're everywhere. Cat milk. Cat milk. Wow. A shoe. Oh god, they're everywhere. They're just I'm dropping all of them. Um She loaded me up with stickers and I appreciate that. As someone who hoards stickers like a dragon, I appreciate that. And I got I got two things. Number one. I got a tail tucker. It's a bee. Is it gonna focus? Uh, I see people do. What is all my? Why is my skin so shiny? It won't focus. It's a bee. And it's a tail tucker. And what you do is you um, put your little extra strings in between, and you pull them through. And as you can see, I've already been using it. Because <laughs> I'm a disaster. Little bee. I told you I love bees. They're so cute. They're friends. And it, I don't know what... It, it seems like it's ceramic. Or I don't know. Like it's really hardy. The little bee. And then the other thing I got... Um... Swedish. Look at that's so smart. That is that's the little rose at the back. So smart. So it's a packet of rockets, or I think in the States they call them Smarties. But in Canada, Smarties is something so much better. And then she calls them sweeties. It's the sweeties. And it's the gay colors. I love it. It's so good. The magnet is really strong. It holds my needle really good. I've already done it. I've already tried it out. I love it. Thank you. I don't get a lot of haul or stash or mail. I love snail mail. Um, but I don't get a lot of it. So I'm glad I could share that with you today. Would I order again? Yes. When I can send stuff to the States. Because the Canadian, Canadian shipping is out of this world. We live in two different continents, apparently. That's why there should be no borders. Oh yeah, and that's why indigenous people should get their land back. Anyway. Uh, I got a couple of things to talk about. This is the, this is the me talking section. <laughs> uh, so, how often am I going to floss do? Probably once a month. Why? I don't know. It seems like a good amount of time to pass. Um, and I hope to have like stuff to show you each time. So once a month. So like I'll release it the middle of the month. So if you did like this video, I would subscribe and hit the little bell. So when I randomly decide every month to upload something and you're aware of it and you can you can be with me I love that so I want to I have some question I have a question for you personally uh, I am in August I'm going my first vacation wow since 
the Panini, the Backstreet Boys reunion tour, as I like to call it. And uh, I'm going, I'm going to America. I'm going to the States for the first time since December 2019. And my parents live down there. So this is the first time I will have seen my parents since December 2019. Um, they live down there. I live up here. I'm a, I'm a dual citizen. So I can, I can get down there. My partner is not. So he could not. Um, but we're going down. We're deciding. We're both finally double vaccinated. Canada, it took a while. <laughs> to, and, that, and that's not because, you know didn't want to I wanted to oh boy I wanted to but we just didn't have enough vaccines for everyone um we didn't have the surplus that the that America did and actually both vaccines I got uh were like gifts from America <laughs> they're like you're Canada we're so sorry take some so I got first shot AstraZeneca the shot that nobody wanted and I got and I loved it hey it was great and I got second shot uh, Moderna because in Canada, again, we're just, we're doing whatever we want. We're just getting shots in arms. We're mixing and matching. Um, the mix and match was, it did set my bones on fire. It was tough. Um, but do I regret it? No, I have, I have the good juice in my bones and in my blood. And now I feel invincible. Am I invincible? Definitely not but I feel it. Uh, so I'm still wearing a mask, but now I feel ready to fly because the land border is still not open. Um, but I feel ready to fly. So we're flying down. Anyway, this story has a question at the end of it. <laughs> we're flying down to the Oregon coast, um, where I have vacationed every year, like since I was little. Uh, there's a little place called Seaside, Oregon, and we, we go there every year except for, you know, the last couple of years for a good reason. Anyway, I want to stitch something at the beach that is meaningful. And I've been looking through, I've been looking through all the Instagrams, all the Etsy's, and I need to find, here's, here's my question. I would like to find a small ish and I call, I call small, like, I don't know, under a hundred by a hundred, not full coverage. Right. Um, maybe 50 by 50, 50 by 75, 75 by, you know, under a hundred. I like to stitch something small that is beach themed that I could take to the beach and stitch to celebrate the the return the return of d summer summer boy we're in my summer best right now um do you have a suggestion of a beach themed small that i could stitch what what is my style what do i like anything frankly uh, anything 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 i don't like too cutesy Cause I'm not a cutesy person. Um, I don't like a lot of black backstitch because I don't have time for it. <laughs> Does it look good? Yes. Do I have time for it? No. Um, I love anything like vintagey, like anything faux old sampler. That'd be cute. Anything. I just want to hear you. I want to hear what is your favorite beach? thing to stitch on the beach by the seaside get that good you know margaritaville energy oh yeah yes get that i want i want some do you have something that screams some good jimmy buffett vine vibes vines vibes do you have something like that i want it could you comment below and tell me because um, I need I need it in my life will you win a prize maybe I don't know <laughs> we'll see we'll see what I decide who knows uh, I need it in my life that's what I, I need help with my plans 
I'm a very indecisive person, so I need help with that. So put that down below, please. Uh, other plans? Finish. Finish Westeros, so I can get the oldest whip monkey off my back. It's clinging, and I want it off. What am I going to do with it? Do not know. Um, Got to finish that. Going to do some more rainbow. Because it's going to last forever. Um, and who knows? So, at the end, I had the, this idea in my mind to highlight my community, uh, which is the LGBTQIA um to spirit, to us, um, community. The, the umbrella, I like to call it an umbrella because on the umbrella on the top, you have the idea of lesbian, gay, bi, trans, intersex, asexual, queer, and two spirit. You have that idea, but sexuality and gender is so much more than those labels. So I like to have an umbrella because there are people who are in this in this world, in this community, but don't s subscribe to those labels, even though there's a lot of labels. I hate labels. Uh, so I say anything under the umbrella. Anything under the umbrella. I want to highlight, I want to spend some time highlighting my community, the, 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 the under the umbrella. So there's a couple things. Uh, every floss tube, I want to pick a community member, an LGBTQIA2S community member that I really enjoy on Instagram or floss tube. Um, and I want to tell you about them. So the community member that I want to talk about is Pix Stitch, P I X, I have it written over here, P I X dot Stitch. S-T-I-T-C-H. And I want to highlight them because um, that whole crew, and I, th I feel like it's a crew of people because this, they do so much. Um, they're on Twitch Mondays and Thursdays. And Pick Stitch raised over $6,000 for Child's Play. Um, and Pick Stitch does very cute, like, video game pixel art and gives just so much time for charity and to the community. And they are my, what should I call this? My Rainbow of the Month. That sounds... That doesn't sound right. I'll, I'll think of something. <laughs> my commute, my rainbow, my under my umbrella tree. No, we're going to workshop this. We're, <laughs> I'm a little rusty. <laughs> um, but pick stitch. I'm going to put the link to their Instagram below and, um, to their Twitch below. Uh, what else do I have to talk about? My my rainbow community corner. Ooh, I like that. Uh, my my kiki corner. Uh, number one, I I want to thank everyone who has bought the trans pride tapestry. If you don't know about that, I'm gonna put a picture here. There she is. Um, Kari, who is the artist, my friend, uh, we met through performing arts, um, did the art and I whipped it up into a cross stitch and we did not think it would, we did not think it would get as far as it went, but we, we sold in the first month, we sold over 200 patterns ish and we raised all in all for my four favorite trans charities which is uh, not well charities that help and uplift uh, or mutual aid 
uh, societies that help and um, uplift trans people. So the Pace Society up here in um, Vancouver, Canada, uh, House of GG, um, the Emergency Release Fund, and the um, Ochre Project. They're my absolute favorite trans uh, mutual aid funds. And we raised all in all, all together, we were able to divide around $800. And it made me feel good. And it makes me feel good every time I see um, the Trans Pride Tapestry on on Instagram. It makes me feel good every time someone talks about it on Floss Tube. Uh, it just makes me feel like part of a community because y'all are celebrating yourselves as a tra if you are a trans person. You're celebrating yourselves, which is important for us. Um, but if you are a cis ally, a non-trans person ally, and you are celebrating us, that's thank you. Cause it's, it's tough. Like it's tough out there for us. Um, like there's people who don't want us to exist. Uh, there's laws that are being put into place to, to kill us. Um, and I'm not, it's not a hyperbole. Like there's laws that want us, like us to suffer and, and die out there, it, especially in the UK and in the United States um, and, and across the world. Uh, so especially if you are a cis ally, a non-trans ally, it means a lot to me that you have decided to just purchase a pattern and, and, show your support. And if you're a trans person and uh, trans, non-binary, agender, genderqueer, um, I love you very much. And I'm your stitch dad now. Congratulations. Hi, I'm your father and I love you. And I'm very, very proud of you. Um, ooh, anyway, thank you. The, the, the pattern is still for sale up on Kari's website. Um, I'll put a link below. And we also sell a, um, we sell a needle keeper, needle keep, is that right? Needle minder, needle nanny. Ooh, needle nanny. No, I don't like it. <laughs> uh, we also sell that too on the website that goes with your unicorn. And right now the money is split 50-50 between Kari and I. So if you want to keep a queer artist, give them money. And if you want to give me a trans and queer artist money, that's how you do it. Um, what else? Oh, uh, I, uh, me, me and uh, Bees and Tees, Sebastian, um, we started a little trans cross-stitch group over on Facebook now. I do not use Facebook very much. There's a lot of trans people out there who do not use Facebook. And by trans, again, the trans umbrella, agender uh, or non-gendered, um, gender queer, uh, 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 trans non-binary, um, or trans men and trans women, anything, anything under the non-cis umbrella. And by when I say cis, I don't, <laughs> There's a lot of like, people are like, cis is a slur. Cis is just the opposite of trans. That's it. Cis means you are currently the gender, you feel currently like you are the gender that you were assigned at birth. That's how you feel currently. Um, so you are cis. And if you currently do not feel uh, like you are the gender that you were assigned at birth, you're a trans. That's my definition. Um, yeah. So if you are under the trans umbrella, Sebastian and I have started a Facebook group uh, for you and for us and to like just hang out and be like, just be, have a space for us and just be trans together. And I like that. Um, but, it, oh, if you want to be part of that Facebook group, you can message me. I'll, we'll connect. And believe me, if it's your dead name, I will not see it because 
Facebook is my dead name too. You know, it has my dead name there, so I will not see it. Um, but we are, I think, starting a online digital Zoom slash Google Hangouts uh, stitch, stitching, stitch, digital stitch group um, that we are discussing. Currently, it is scheduled for August 1st, which is a Sunday. It is scheduled for 9 a.m. Pacific time. Um, good morning. And so that's noon Eastern time. And that's, I believe, 5 o'clock UK. Because we wanted to get the UK trans peeps in too because they're having, they're having a real hard time over there. Um, I do not know what time it is in Australia. Probably something ridiculous. But if there's Australian trans people um, who want to join in, please. If you would like to be a part of that stitch group, whenever it is, right now, currently, we're thinking August 1st. Um, the best thing to do is follow me on Instagram. That will be below. Uh, and I will announce when that is. And you can just be a part of it and just sit around with a bunch of fucking trans geeks, nerds, and crew, and we'll be just beautiful and trans together and stitch some stuff up and talk that's it i love it do i need to talk about anything else no i don't this is the end how long did i talk for not long i want to thank you very much for clicking and spending some time with me and i hope you had a little bit of joy you spent, you had a little bit of joy in your joy bucket because you spent some time with me. That's all I could hope for. And, and I, I really want to thank everyone on Instagram and on FlossTube who have uplifted me and embraced me because during co oh, wow i just whew. during covid i felt like i lost a community because we couldn't perform and i fell back on a craft that i had been doing since i was a teenager since preteen and i fell back and then i found a community there and it has made me joyful it has made me feel like I want to go out and be active in the community and that makes me feel good. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who has commented and who has asked for a floss tube. Like there are people said, oh, are you doing a floss tube? I'm like, no. Well, here I am. <laughs> here I am doing it. Anyway, I'm going to close this off. How am I going to close this off? Um, until next time, remember, be a good person, whatever kind of person you are. Your Stitch Dad loves you. Bye-bye.